Hello there, and welcome back to a special Kentucky Derby edition of That Handicapping Show, sponsored by TVG. I'm Jason Chandler. He's Tom Lamara. And we're just two days away now from Kentucky Derby 138. As you can see, we're here at beautiful Churchill Downs on a Thursday morning, just a couple days before the race. And uh, a full field of 20 was drawn yesterday, Tom. And um, it seems like we say this every year, but it really is a wide open race. Um, you know, especially this year, the four to one morning line favorite is Bodie Meister, but you can make a case for about half the field. Yeah, and that's really what's scary about it is that, yes, it's wide open like it always is, but it's wide open with, with some seriously legitimate horses, which just makes it much harder to handicap. Yeah, the one good thing about it is I, I really think most of these horses earned their way in. They didn't back their way into the field. And a great way to determine that is you have actually nine horses back from the Breeders' Cup Juvenile from last year. That's unprecedented. Nine of the 13 horses are back, which bodes well for the field. Yes, and that's the first time I believe in history that that's happened. So at least we've seen these horses for six months now. So we have a pretty, well, more than six months. So we have a pretty good idea of the talent. But of course, this race always comes down to trip. And that's what we're going to talk about. So. Exactly. And we're going to try to make the show as dramatic as possible, but <laughs> it's not going to happen because we both like we the did. same horse. The winner is? Union Rags. And we both have what, our reasons why? <laughs> why we like them, and uh, you give yours. The good news is that we both like ho different horses on their knees, so we'll get into that in we a do. second. But we do. Union Rags, to us, is the standout. Yes. Um, you know, he looks good, um, and um, his first race of the year I thought was super. It was so easy. Yes, he lost the Florida Derby, and there's been a lot of speculation about the trip. He's not good enough. He can't get the distance. I think it was just one of those days. I think he ran a great race, personally. He ran on, I think, Lepero, you know, he, he, he said right after that race that he, he learned would a come lot. back, that he would come back and win. Um, I just think that despite post four, which I'm not crazy about, but this horse does have speed. He's got tactical speed. Really, I think the jockey just needs to get some clear sailing on the first turn or the back stretch. And I think when he makes his move, he's going to be pretty tough. I can completely draw a line through the Florida Derby. The first thing I look at is his two works coming into that race. They were two really slow works, and that was by design. Matt did not have this horse cranked. He had the bad trip. Everybody saw it. Um, he's Leperu learned a lot from that race. Physically, he towers over this field. If you just see him on the track, he has the presence of the as a winner. He had two great works coming into the race. Leperu has multiple riding titles over this at Churchill. Uh, I think he's just a standout, and and uh, he's really going to rebound from from the. Uh, Florida Derby. Um, if, if I had to say maybe one negative about the horse or one thing I'm concerned about, you know, watching him work here, he, he gets hot. Um, he was sweating pretty good yesterday if you watch him work on the track, and it's supposed to be in the mid to high 80s on Derby Day, so I'll be watching that closely in the paddock to see how hot he gets. Well, he probably won't be the only horse sweating either, so... Um, he may not lose an advantage, you know what I'm saying. So, right, uh, yeah. everybody's got to deal with the heat, but like we said, uh, you know, there's exactas and trifectas and supers to play in this race, so we like, for the most part, different horses underneath. Let's try to fill out our exotics here, and uh, you give give your first well, horse that you like. Uh, 20 to 1 in the morning line for went the day well. Um, I think he may be 20 to 1. Um, I'm going to keep this short. Um, uh, his race in the spiral was good. Um, it was his first stakes win. He had just broken his maiden. Uh, he's won on the dirt, and I'm going to buy into the, what the Team Valor guys say, that this horse can run all day. I think he can, too. Um, I think he's got a good post draw. He's outside, uh, but not too far out. I would look for him to be running pretty well from off the pace. Yeah, I saw him this morning. Uh, didn't stand out to me, and, and I'm he not— He doesn't stand out, but— uh, yeah. That's okay. Yeah, at 20 to 1, okay. you know, he's worth taking a shot. The Derby connections from last year, and you could you could do worse with, mm -hmm. with a pick like that. I'm going to talk about Alpha. Um, you know, had some questions coming into this race. He missed the, the mm -hmm. work uh, with, with a leg infection. He, he altered his training plans. He had his last work at Belmont, but he, I think he's really flourished in, in the last week. He had that sharp work at Belmont. He's probably the best bred horse for 10 furlongs going into this race. 
Um, and his Tomlinson figure shows that. Um, I think his running style will, will suit him perfectly here. If we get the hot pace that we're expecting, um, he's going to be coming at the end, I think. Um, he's run some consistent and big hmm. speed figures coming into this race. Um, some, okay, some, so you've, you've changed your mind on Alpha I, I actually have, yeah. And if you had Interesting a, switcheroo here because this <laughs> horse was not on his list a week ago. No, and, um, you know, Gemologist beat him, and, and Gemologist probably will not be used by, <laughs> by May. He's gonna, he's an undefeated horse coming into this race, and I don't think we're, we're, we're either one of us he's are not, using Gemologist. No, no, he is not on my ticket on this show, of course, you know, weather and all that stuff, but yeah. no, no, he is not on my all ticket right. right now. Give me a second horse you'll use. I forgot, I, I've liked so many, I forgot who the third horse was that I was going <laughs> well, to Well, you like, I know you Delahan. like Delahan, yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's a tough group. Um, <laughs> you know, his race in the bluegrass, I thought, was strong. Um, I think he beat a horse that actually ran on well, even though he ran second, and we'll talk about him next. But, uh, you know, I, I, he trains here. Um, I'm looking for a real closer. I think he's it, and I think with any kind of fast pace, he hits the ticket. The negative about him this week on the backside is that he's not getting over the track as well as he did in poly track and, and, and the turf. Um, so if you don't like him, you know, that's – a potential reason to not like him because he'll be so far back he's going to have to be getting over that track pretty good to well, become flying yeah um but you know so much depends on the pace and the trip right. and really we're, we're you know we're picking horses based on what we hope happens right <laughs> And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it happens. So. A second horse for me is uh, Daddy Knows Best. I talked about him last week on the preview show a lot, so I won't go into too much detail. I'll just say, uh, you know, two straight wins at nine furlongs, battle-tested, ten, ten starts, four wins. He's looked good. He's trained at Churchill for a month. Three good works over the track. Asmussen, Garrett Gomez, can't do any better than that. And um, I think he'll get a good stalking position from, from post 10. So, um, you know, Daddy Knows Best for me is, is definitely going to be on, my, on all my tickets. Asmussen's been pretty, pretty outspoken and confident about him, which is unusual for, for Asmussen <laughs> at least. But the uh, third horse that we're, we both like, the fourth, the fourth, the fourth horse, horse is, is Hanson. And, yes. um, you know, I've kind of just in, in the last day or so realized that this horse has to be on our tickets. Yeah, um, Hanson for me, um, I watched him uh, and he broke his maiden at Turfway Park, won the Kentucky Cup. I followed my gut. I played him in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. He won. Um, I'm going to follow my gut again. I have a, a strong feeling that he will run a huge race. And I did pick Union Rags on top, but I don't want to take anything away from Hanson. He's got good speed. He can run on the lead. He can raid off a little bit. And um, I like his post. And quite frankly, 10 to 1 morning line I think might come down, but um, that's a good price on a very good horse. The fact that he drew outside of Trinaberg and Bodemeister is huge, and I don't think you can discount that. Had he drew to one post, he would have been done, in my opinion. But he should get a good stalking trip, and he's shown he can carry his electric speed, and, and I would be surprised if he didn't have the lead at the eighth pole. So I think he has to be part of any ticket. If he does, uh, I think he might be trouble, to be completely honest. Yeah. Finally, uh, just to wrap things up, give me one horse where, you know, if he's not on your ticket for the show, you might be you might be concerned that you're scared about. Uh, I would say Jamal just strictly because he's undefeated. Undefeated. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say Creative Cause, who I still will probably use underneath. You know, he's never been off the board in eight starts and uh, hasn't missed a beat since last summer. He's a he's a Grade One winner and he's he's, he's never done anything wrong that, since since he started racing in July. And uh, he was a good third in the juvenile over this track. I think creative cause. A lot of people can make cases for him, but uh, right. so many options, and, and you got to narrow them down. So, anyway, um, we wish everybody luck with the Derby picks. Uh, we appreciate our sponsor TVG, and thanks to Briss for, for for providing the PPs. And, and um, yep, we have a couple other things too. Live blogs Friday and Saturday at noon at bloodhorse.com and we also have a new video feature yeah user comments are now available uh on this video so feel free to rip tom and i apart on, our, on our picks Please and do. add your suggestions Challenge us. and um <laughs> or if you agree with this which is probably rare but anyway um it should be a great week i'm gonna give you the uh um kentucky oaks exacto in 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 leaving it's gonna be grace hall and summer applause just box them and walk to the window all right 
All right, thanks for uh, Tom. I'm Jason. Good luck. Good day and good racing.